Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to use event handlers in SSIS. So this is my profile. I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is what are event handlers in SSIS and how to use event handlers in SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. I got a very basic SSIS package that in this package I'm just creating a, I'm just dropping and creating an email table in the WorkDB database on my system. So on my machine in the SQL Server 2019 instance in the WorkDB I got a table, email table. So in the first step in the SSIS package I am just dropping the table and then just recreating the table so that every time when the package will run it will load that particular data only. And now in the data flow task I am just loading the email.csv file which contains 1000 records into the email table. Email table exists in my work database. And now in the third task, I'm just creating an index and clustered index on the email table. And then I have put a delay for five seconds. So the SSIS package will wait for five seconds here. And I have put the delay for some reason that I will explain you later, okay? So this is my basic SSIS package that uh, I have created. And uh, maybe I can just show you running this package. Like if I execute this package, then what it will do so it will wait for five seconds here and uh, yeah so this is done so let me go back to the ssms so this is my management studio and if i execute the data from this table so it contains 1000 records so these 1000 records were just loaded by the ssis package so let me just truncate this table and now let me go back to the ssis package so what are event handlers in ssis so event handlers is the functionality that enables you that you can execute some piece of code just before the execution of a particular task or after the execution of a particular task or you can execute it on a particular time for example if your SSIS package will fail then on that particular time you can execute your piece of code yeah so you can execute your code on a particular event so there are different events that SSIS provides so there is a specialized event handlers tab here so if you click on this tab and if you just drag and drop this event handler portion so you can see the events that you can use so you can put your code here and that particular code will be executed when that particular event will occur for example you can write some code on on error event so whenever an error will occur in the ssis package or on a particular task so how that you can decide like whether you want to execute some code on the whole package or on a particular task this is controlled by the executable tab so if you see on the left side there is an executable tab so by default package is selected package means the whole ssis package so if whole pa ssis package is selected then whatever code you have written on the event that will execute on the whole package i mean on each task that will occur so for example if there are 50 tasks in your ssis package then that particular piece of code will run on all 50 tasks and for example if you expand the package and if you expand the executables so you can see all the tasks that exist in the ssis package so in my ssis package we got three tasks create indexes create table and load data so for example if you want to execute some portion of code on load data so you can just select load data and you can select the event handler from here and then you can write your code so that particular code will be executed for example you want to execute some code that whenever the data has been loaded so you want to run a query or you want to send an email so you can just for example drag and drop a task like send mail task and you can uh, configure the send mail task that the data has been loaded for a particular file so this is how you can use a particular task so on post execute event is occurred so when a particular task is finished running and on pre execute event occurs when a particular task is about to start on pre-execute is used just before starting a task and on post execute event occurs just after finishing running the task so this is how these tasks works and there is an on error which can use to log the errors as well so let me just right now just delete this particular on post execute event from the load data okay and now let me go back to the control flow you might think that uh, like if we can use the on pre-execute event just before the task so why can't for example we can add a new task here and we can write whatever we want to run just before the on pre-execute and why can't we we can just 
drag and drop it here if you want to run it after on post execute so this is fine that you can use different task as well but suppose think of an SSI package that contains 20 tasks or maybe 50 tasks and you want to insert something for on pre execute and on post execute then in that scenario you need to add additional 100 task into the SSI package and then you need to configure those 100 tasks okay but using the event handler there is an option that if you can use the event handler and if you can select the SSI package and you can just drag and drop and write your code here so that task will run for 50 tasks like for all tasks in your SSI package so if in your SSI package you have 100 components so the execute SQL task will run 100 times so it can save you a lot of effort and a lot of times as well okay so one of the scenario when I use the event handlers in real life scenarios is that I use it for error logging the on error event and I also use it for optimization purpose as well for example I have a very large SSIS package and the SSIS package is running very slow and uh, it contains maybe 20 tasks or 10 tasks okay and I don't know like on which task the package is running slow or even if I know that this task is taking time but there can be multiple tasks in the SSIS package which are running very slow and for example if you want to know like which task is taking how much time to execute you can make use of event handlers so what you can do you can just log the start time of a particular task and then finishing time of a particular task starting time of this task and finishing time of this task and similarly for all tasks you can log the starting time and the finishing time and then you can just identify like how much time a particular task is taking to execute and accordingly you can work on optimization the tasks which are taking longer time so how you can do that so first of all you can make a table here so I have created a table event SSIS uh, which will contain ID as an identity and then it will contain package name then it will contain task name a step like whether it is on pre execute step or on post execute step and the time when a particular event has occurred so I will share this script with you maybe you can use it in your environment as well so at the moment this table doesn't contain any data so let me just configure the on pre execute event and on post execute event so that can be used so let me just go to the event handlers and on the left side we need to make sure that package is selected because I want to execute it for all tasks and on the right side under event handler I will select on pre execute event so this event will run just before the execution of a task now I can just drag and drop the execute SQL task and uh, log event I can call it as log event and I can just configure this execute SQL task I will select the work database and now I can go to the expressions and uh, I will select SQL statement source property and then I need to write my insert statement here I will also share the insert statement with you so that you can use it in your environment now I need to write the insert statement here so I can write here insert into event SSIS select ID is an identity column so it doesn't need any input and now the second column is package name so my package name is package.dtsx and now the another columns are like task name I will provide the value from the SSI system variable but for now I'm just copying here just to make sure that what columns are there okay so I can just copy this insert statement from here and I will paste it here but before pasting I need to put a double quote paste the statement then and the double quote okay first column package.dts that's good now for task name I need to select source name so double quote plus plus double quote and then I can just drag and drop the task name from the system variable so if you expand system variable so there is one source name actually so I just need to drag and drop source name from here now on the step I will write on pre execute event okay and under dated I will use the get date function so which can return you the current date timestamp I will click on evaluate expression so this seems good I can click ok 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 so this has been configured for the on pre execute now I can copy the whole execute SQL task from here and I will select on post execute event now I will click on this one 
and I can face the execute SQL task here I just need to go to the expressions and I just need to change the event handler from on pre execute to on post execute and rest of the things will be same and this is event actually so I can click on evaluate expression okay okay now I will just fix the typo in my code event okay all right so I have configured the on pre execute event and on post execute event in my SSIS package now let me execute my SSIS package so that it can just log the time taken by the whole SSIS package and by each task as well I put the wait for 5 seconds here because my SSIS package was running very fast and uh, it was not giving me some I mean good time like how much time a task is taking so I can show you that at least the create indexes task will take at least the 5 seconds to run so now let me just go back to the event SIS table and I can just select the data from this table now so you can see that the package started the this is the on pre execute event for the package and this is the on post execute event of the package so if even if you want to check like how much time the package is taking so this is started at 8 14 14 seconds 8 hours 14 minutes 14 seconds and then it finished on 8 hours 14 seconds 19 seconds so it took almost 5 plus seconds okay and that 5 second was on create indexes so if you see it is started at 14 seconds and finished at 19 seconds so the 5 second were taken on the create indexes and this is the time taken by the load data it took very small time few milliseconds similarly create table statement took few milliseconds as well so using this way if you have 100 tasks or maybe 20 or 50 tasks in your SSIS package and you want to check like how much time a particular task is taking what are the longest running tasks then you can use this method event handlers you can use the event handlers and you can easily figure out like which tasks are taking longer and there are some other events as well then that you can make use of yeah so I think that's it for today's video Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.